Hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Moz. If you remember last time, we actually caught some female Electrostrymon angelia, a little tiny hair streak about that big. And we showed you, number one, how to find them, number two, how to take care of the adults and feed the adults. But number three, we showed you how to set them up in a container to get eggs from them. So in this, in this video, we're gonna go check out and see if those females have given us any eggs. It's been about 48 hours and let's go find out. Okay. All right guys, let's see. It's been a couple days and I think it's been two days. Yeah, two full days. All right. I actually neglected to check on them yesterday. So it looks like both butterflies are dead. Yeah, they're both dead on the bottom there, but that was kind of expected because hair streaks only last a few days anyway. And um, they were older specimens when I had caught them in the field. So I'm not sure if there's gonna be any eggs, guys, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this over here and I am going to open this up and we're gonna see if either of these girls were good enough to drop me any eggs before their departure. All right, so the first thing I gotta do is uh, take the rubber band and paper towel off. Okay, now this plant that I have in here is a plant called Indian Pongam. It's a tree that's been used in ornamentals for the last 40, 50 years in South Florida. It's a beautiful tree and it happens to be in the same family as Jamaican dogwood. They go into this springtime bloom, and the whole tree goes into bloom, and as soon as it does that, it flushes out all these new leaves. Um, now the rest, of the, the rest of the year, I don't know what they eat because these new leaves only come out once a year. So, uh, guys, let's see that the eggs for a butterfly this small are going to be very, very tiny, guys. So, we're gonna have to see if we can find any of them. In fact, I already see a couple. Look guys, there's a couple eggs on this leaf right here. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. Oh yeah, there's a couple eggs right on that leaf. Two, two eggs so far. Oh, I've got some on the stem. Look at that. There's another one on the stem right there. Like little tiny bluish green eggs. There's another one on the bottom of that leaf. So there's four so far. Okay, here's one right here. Look at this. Oh, there's three right there, guys. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, awesome. Oh, this is so exciting because I'm gonna get to try and raise these things. Um, <laughs> this is a tiny, tiny little butterfly, guys. So what we're gonna do, I gotta get this cup out with these stems and we're gonna place them in a little cup and get them ready for the caterpillars to hatch. And we're gonna show you the rest of the life cycle in future videos. But guys, you wanna, if you wanna see how to raise hair streaks, I've raised, I think 12 different species of hair streaks from Florida and it's not the easiest thing in the world because look how small everything is. I mean, the eggs are so small. I mean, I'll show you, I'm gonna take these things out of this cup real quick, hold on a second. All right, if you wanna get an idea of how, just how small these eggs are. Let's see. All right, you can see this little egg here on the stem and my finger in front of it. That is a very, very tiny egg, guys. So things are very, very difficult, especially as the caterpillars start to feed. So what you wanna do is you wanna keep as little biomass in a container as possible, but the stuff needs to be fresh. And so that's easier said than done. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and count all the eggs that she gave us. 
But first I'm gonna do some photography, if you don't mind. I'm gonna do some photography of these eggs and then we'll go count them and we'll put them, we'll get them set up in a container so that we can raise out this butterfly caterpillar. All right guys, what I discovered after doing some up close photography is that these eggs are actually like a, like a really light sky blue coloration, really pretty color. And they've got a really cool ornate pattern. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen the Epcot globe, <laughs> but they, they kind of have a really cool geometric pattern. And um, we're gonna show you some images of that right now. Uh, check out some of the images of the eggs. So the eggs are round, but they're also flat. So you see how it sits, like this one here that's sitting on the, on the stem of this leaf, or on the, on the stem here. I'm gonna show you the side angle to show you that hair streak eggs are, are flat, kind of flat, got a really cool geometric pattern. So um, now the next goal is we're actually gonna move the, the eggs on the stems into this little cup here. And what we'll do is we'll check them once a day uh, for the next few days until they hatch and make sure they have fresh growth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull one by one the stems out and we're gonna look through the stems. All right, so there's, there's one egg. Now I'm not seeing, oh, there's another one, two, Oh, three, four, five. Six. Yep, so there's six, seven, eight. There's one on the stem there by my finger. All right, so there's eight on this stem. So what I'll do, I'm just gonna put this whole stem in. And what, what'll happen is this stem will probably wilt overnight. And what I'll do is I'll just put fresh leaves in each day. And once you start seeing the little tiny black pellets on the bottom, you know that the eggs have hatched. So there's eight so far. Oh, this is good news, guys. We're gonna have we're gonna have something to work with here. All right, stem number two. Okay, there's one down there. Through that'll be nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So ten. 11, 12, there's two on that one leaf. 12, then on the tip there's 13, 14, 14. Okay, it's 14 total so far. Oh, 15, there's another one on the stem. Look, we're right on the very base of the stem. There's another one, 15. Oh, there's another one in between these leaf nodules. Huh. 16. I'll bet there's more in there somewhere that I'm just not seeing. It's a pretty, pretty safe bet but we know for sure there's 16 eggs in here. All right, last, last stem. We'll look at the stems first. Oh, there's one, 17, 18, 19. Yep, there's two on that leaf. Great. So actually what I'm gonna try, since there's three on this one, I'm actually gonna put this stem in a water pick 
and just try and do it that way and see if we can keep those leaves nice and green. Sometimes it's easier when the, when the leaf that the egg is on is actually green. So these leaves will be wilted by the time these caterpillars hatch. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this. So we've got 19 eggs. I'm gonna cover this. There are 16 in this cup and we'll monitor it and give you guys a play-by-play -play as these guys hatch and grow up. So hope you enjoyed the video guys. Um, <laughs> I want to show you a little bit about taking care of hair streak butterfly caterpillars. This is going to be an exciting endeavor. It's been a good 25 years since I've raised this butterfly. So uh, if you like the video, guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That helps out our channel and subscribe to our channel. We're going to show you more about how to raise some South Florida tropical beauties, even the tiny little tiny ones like hair streaks. All right, guys, take care. Bye now.